Hello everyone, I am so excited to bring you this tutorial today. This is the Deluxe Dotty Bow Template by Pixie Dot Craft Supplies and this is a massive 24 centimetres across the width of the tails. It's actually hard to get the gist of how big it is by looking at a picture because as you can see on here, they have photographed it on a hand. So yeah, it's just as hard to see how big it is until you actually get it and you see the size of the loops and the tails for yourself. You are just like, whoa, that is big. So yeah, I'm so excited to use this today. This has got many uses, obviously a hair bow, but it is massive. It would make such a big hair bow. So I personally won't be using this as a hair bow. But the first thing I thought of was Christmas tree topper. So I will definitely be making one of these for Christmas to go on top of my tree. Or you could hang it on the end of a banister at Christmas. It would look absolutely gorgeous. Also, I was thinking maybe like a wreath. If you had a round wreath and you put the bow on the top or the bottom, this would be brilliant for a wreath. Or you could put it on your front door as a Christmas bow for your front door. There are lots of different things you can do with it. And today I am going to be using this as a bow holder. So that is the tutorial I'm making today, a hair bow holder using this Deluxe Dotty 24 centimeter hair bow template. I've also got this sample of fabric. This is also from Pixie Dot Craft Supplies. And this is actually a big print, which works well with the bigger bow because you can't obviously often use big prints for hair bows because you can't fit everything in. So if I use this on a normal bow, you would probably only get in like one flower. So yeah, this is brilliant for this bow. So this is from Pixie Dot Craft Supplies. I've also got some of my own materials out. I've got this gorgeous iridescent mirror leatherette, which I'm going to use. I've got a stunning pink glitter with some silver in it. And I've printed my own little text here. I'm not addicted to bows, my mum is. I printed this on canvas. I have done a tutorial on how to print your own canvas. I will pop a link to it in the corner here. So if you want to check that out, it is really handy to be able to print your own canvas fabrics. Obviously you can personalize it. You can print it to match clothing patterns. The list is endless. So yeah, I would definitely recommend checking out the tutorial on how to print your own fabric. So I've got this one ready. Ignore this top one, my ink ran out, so I had to run it through twice and it didn't quite line up. And also, this isn't quite the right length of A4. So this one, if this was A4, I would have fitted three on here, but I didn't quite. But we've got the one, so we're good. I've also got some felt. This is to line the back of my canvas and also to stick on the back of the tails when we add our ribbon to clip our bows onto. You'll see it when we get to it. So this is what you get in your bow template pack. You get the giant loop, the giant tail, and also the piece to wrap around the center. And just to show you the measurements, this is just obviously half of the tail and it is five inches across or 12 and a half centimeters across half of the tail. And the loops, or the loop should I say, is seven and a half inches across or 19 centimeters across. Taking my canvas with my little saying on that I printed myself, I'm going to take this piece first. And when I printed this out, by the way, to get the size right, I actually took a photo of my loop on a piece of A4 paper and I took a photo of it. So when I got this up on my Canva app to make my design, I could overlay the photo of the loop on the paper to see where to line this up, if that makes sense. So what I'm going to do is line this up over my little picture here. And obviously you want it to be on just one half of the bow because when you make up the loop, you will only see the front half of the bow. This will be toward the back. So I'm laying this on here. And then I'm going to draw around it once I'm happy with the placement. I'm just using a biro pen 
and when I cut around my loop I cut just inside the pen line to remove the pen line you don't need any fancy disappearing ink pens unless you want to do it that way that's up to you but this is just how I do mine so that is the first part drawn around and then this gorgeous fabric from pixie dot craft supplies you can pick how you want it obviously this is a sample piece if you buy this you will get an a4 piece but this is just a sample and to fit it all on i need to lay my loop diagonally so i can pick what pattern i want to show so if i put it this way i'll have some orange pink and purple showing this is the same or if i have it this way I quite like it this way because then you've got a little bit of pink, purple, yellow and orange all in it. So I'm going to do mine this way. So that is going to be the other half of the top loop. And then I've got this gorgeous pink glitter. It's got little stars and silver specks in it. I will link everything that I've used in the description below. And I need to draw around two of these because this is going to be the whole bottom layer loops. And I just want to add that this does take a lot of fabric, but because we hand cut, you can use these little scrap pieces. So what I will do is keep these pieces here, which will be off cuts, and I can draw around loops, smaller loops on here to make another bow. So keep any little scraps that you've got because you can use them. And now for the mirror leatherette, this is going to be my tails and also my centre strip. So I've got my tail template, in the centre strip now. And now I'm going to cut all of these elements out, ready to put our hair bow holder bow all together. So I've got all my pieces cut out here now. I've got one half of a flower loop to go with my Addicted to Bows loop. I've got the two pink loops here for the bottom layer. And I've got the two halves of the tail and the centre strip. As you can see, this fabric is curly where I've had it curled up in storage. But because I back them with felt, these should make them more sturdier. I got this sticky back felt from Amazon. I will link everything that I've used in the description below. So first of all, I'm going to set the tail and the centre strip aside. And we're going to put together our loops. So we're going to join these two together first because they are going to be my bottom loops. So what I'm going to do is take in a piece of felt. This is a non-sticky back felt. I'm going to cut a square around an inch by an inch, just roughly, as long as it's not any wider than that center tab. And we're going to use that to join the two halves together. I'm just going to place some glue in one half and then on the other half, slightly overlapping the, the glitter part and bring those two halves together and then I'm going to flip it over and we're going to bring the two sides, it's hard to fit it all in because they're so big. We're going to bring these two sides into the centre now. Place some glue on those end tabs, bringing it in. And I like to leave around a millimetre or two overlap from the front side. And that just ensures that when you turn it over, you're not going to see the inside of the bow on the other side. Bring the other side in. Again, leaving a millimetre or two gap. So that is the bottom loops now formed. And then these two, we're not going to join these together because we're going to have them slightly angled. So I'm going to make this into a loop now on its own. Again, leaving a millimetre or two overlap from the front side and then do the same with my floral piece and 
and then these two layer on top of these at an angle. To line it up, I like to go by the corner of this straight middle bit. So this corner and this corner where the loops come in and then it goes straight. I like to use those as a guide and the middle. So taking this loop first, I'm going to place some glue in the middle and I'm going to line this bottom up with the corner, left corner and this top corner up with the middle at an angle. And then taking the other half and do it the same on the opposite side. So this bottom corner line up with this edge and the top in the middle. So you've got like a V shape in the middle here, a little triangle shape. So this is the loops layered up ready. And now we're ready to add the tails. We need to join these together. So again, I'm just going to cut a smaller rectangle piece this time because I am going to back this with felt as well. So I'm just adding a tiny little bit of a rectangle to the center of these just to bring them together. I'll do it this way actually. So I've joined the two tails together with a piece of felt as I did the loops. Ignore the fact they're curly. Like I said, we are going to back these with felt, but we're going to do it last because we need to add our ribbon to clip our bows onto. So taking the loops now, we're going to layer up. Sorry, take the loops, we're going to lay them up onto the tails. I'm trying to fit it all on because like I say, this bow is so big, it's hard to fit on. So I'm going to place some glue across the back of my bow and then line it up onto my loops, uh, sorry, tails, get it right. So as you can see, because it's so big, it does tend to flop a little bit but when we put this on a wall as a bow holder it will be fine you'll see why when we get to the end right now for the ribbons I've chosen this gorgeous satin ribbon in these three colors a lovely baby pink lemon and lilac to bring out the colors in this floral fabric so these are what I'm going to use I'm going to wrap around my center now because obviously we're not adding a hair clip because this is not for a hair. So I'm going to add this on my center, starting on the bottom. I'm going to bring it round. Trim off any excess if needed. So this is our giant bow. And now we're going to add our ribbon. Now the length of the ribbon, it depends on where you're going to hang the bow. So for example, my daughter's is hanging on a wall on its own. There's plenty of room. So I've used a good meter of this ribbon to clip her bows onto. For this one, I've cut 85 centimeters, which is the average length I would say, 80 to 85 centimetres. But if you're hanging at say above a bed, you might want to cut these shorter. So if you're selling them, just ask the customer what length they would like the tails, like where they're gonna hang it. If it's gonna be over a bed, you will need to cut them shorter, say 50 centimetres. But I would say 
around 85 is about the average for hanging on a plain wall. But like I said, my daughter's, I did cut to a metre, whole metre, because it's hanging on a little bit of wall on its own. And she's got so many bows, obviously, me being a bow maker. So I'm going to heat seal the raw edges on one end for now. I'll go do the other end last. And this end is what I'm going to stick on the back of my bow. So work out how you want them. So I'm going to do, I think, yellow, pink, and then lilac. So I'm going to flip this over. Flip these upside down also, because these are single-sided satin ribbons. So I want to stick them on a certain way. My yellow is going to be in the middle. So I'm going to stick that on first of all. So I'm going to place some hot glue along the top of my yellow ribbon and I'm going to place that across the middle of this bow. I'm just going to lift it up, glue it as close to the edge as I can. You want it stuck down really well because obviously if you're hanging lots of bows on here there'd be a fair bit of weight and you don't want the ribbon to be pulled off. And then my pink piece. So I'm going to line it up now either side, my pink and lilac piece of ribbon. So I'm just going to stick the glue across the top to begin with. Line it up evenly. This ribbon is four centimetres wide. You can use a more narrow ribbon, you can use a one inch wide ribbon. It's completely up to you. If you use a more narrow ribbon, you could get more strips down, but you've got to consider what bows you're going to be clipping on here. So if you're clipping on smaller bows, then obviously you could fit more across. If you're clipping on wider bows, you're not going to fit quite so many on. And then line my lilac piece up the opposite side, keeping the space evenly. I'm just doing this by eye and also keeping it level across the top. And then I'm going to finish gluing a bit more further down. Just place a little bit more glue on there, bring it down further. So it looks like this now at the back and this is the front and these are what you will clip your bows onto when it's on the wall and now we're going to line our tails we're going to sandwich this ribbon in between which is why I do this bit last you could use hot glue this is double-sided adhesive and I'm just simply going to stick this on over the top so I'm just going to peel off this sticky layer, sorry the non-sticky layer to reveal the sticky layer should I say. So peel off this back end. And then line this up on my tails. There are a couple of ways that you can finish off the bottom. You could cut out a, a shape like a heart or something, like a glitter heart. Stick the glitter heart on the front and sandwich it between the ribbon with a piece of felt. You could do it that way. But I am just going to finish these off with a spike tail. So I'm just going to fold this in half, cut a spike in, Open it up slightly so the ribbon's not touching because I don't want to bond the ends together. And then I can heat seal both of those ends together, taking care not to bond them. 
So that is how I'm going to finish off the bottoms of this bow holder. So now as you can see, by backing it with felt, it has made them more sturdier. It has stiffened up those loops so they're not so curly. So it now looks like this at the front. Like that. And now to add this onto the wall, I would use command strips. I don't know if you've heard of these. Again, I will pop a link in the description below. They're basically, you don't need any screwing or nails involved. I will stick a command strip on either side, either lengthways or across here. And then that then Velcros onto the wall so you can peel it off and on. And that is the easiest way to store these on the wall. I will try and get a photo of this on the wall to show you at the end of this video. And that is how you can make your own bow holder using the Pixie Dot Deluxe Dotty Giant Hair Bow Template. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you press the bell button, that will turn on notifications. Thank you for watching everyone. Bye.